Hey, this is Nate from ClayTrader.com. Today I want to give you a quick overview on how to use the Thinkorswim stock charts. Uh, just going to give you a quick uh, run through of kind of what the settings are, where to find things, where to get started, uh, that type of thing. So uh, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is uh, highlight the charts tab. You'll find that right up here. Uh, just click on that and it'll bring you up to a view of something like this. Uh, this is basically the default screen that you're going to see when you first log in and open up the charts tab. Uh, basically, to get started, we're going to start just by choosing our stock ticker right here. Uh, currently, you can see I have it selected as Tesla. Um, we're just going to pull it up. Uh, let's switch up to an Apple chart then once. Uh, so basically, just pulls up the chart. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Nothing too exciting right there. Uh, and then up here in the top right is where you're going to find most of our settings and configurations and that type of stuff. Um, you can see we have our, our the share button up there. There's some quick access things uh, to change the style and the drawings and whatnot. Uh, we're going to jump right in and go into this uh, gear icon here. That's basically just going to pull up uh, all the chart settings. So this is the basic chart settings options here. Uh, I'm not going to kind of walk you through everything. I'm just going to kind of hit some of the main points here, something that you may want to look at or adjust. Uh, some things that people like to mess with are these bubbles right here. These bubbles basically represent this bubble here, this one here, and then there's a low price bubble that uh, you can't see that's behind this window. But by checking or unchecking these boxes, you can see those bubbles. So let me uncheck that, hit apply here, um, and you can see that high bubble that was right here just went away. So I'll go ahead and turn those back on. Uh, another thing on this screen I like is the overlap volume button here. So you can see down in the bottom part of the screen, all the volume bars are below the chart. If we click on that and hit apply, it's actually going to put those volume bars um, right there. Uh, you can kind of see that um, right below and right behind the chart. Um, so let's move on to the next window then. Uh, this is basically the price access. Um, that's going to be this over here on the side. You can adjust this to show any open orders you have um, or anything like that, and it'll automatically scale uh, this size to include that stuff. Um, what's a, another interesting thing is, is also these expansion error areas here. What that lets you do is add a little extra space below or above the, uh, the window. So if we go ahead and change this to say 20%, what you can do is you can see it added a bunch of extra space in right up here. Um, right up here, all this extra space is now available. Uh, help you kind of identify trends, draw some more lines, that type of stuff. Um, I'm just going to leave that back at zero. And then we're going to move on to the time axis. That's actually the one here across the bottom, um, looking at the time axis. So you can do a bunch of different things here. You can adjust um, the time, the year, that type of stuff. What we're going to look at here again is the expansion area. Very similar to how the last one was. Um, but basically this one adds more space to the right, um, give you a little breathing space, give you a little more room to draw trend lines again. So we change that to 20 and hit apply. You can see here now it just added in all this extra space. Um, so we can have a little more room to draw your trend lines out and that type of thing. Moving on to the quick time frames. This is going to be how you quickly adjust your page, how you can uh, kind of view different views. Currently we're on the one day or one year uh, daily view, um, but you can adjust this. So for instance, if you like the two minute view um, and just look at the one day time frame for the two minute, um, by all means, you can adjust these and, and have that be one of your options. Uh, the appearance here, uh, this is kind of, we're going to make a little couple changes. I don't really love the way that the TOS stock charts look by default. Um, so just walk you through a couple of these options here. This is going to let you fill uh, the up and down charts as you can he see here. So if I click on fill and hit apply, you can see all these are filled and now everything on the chart is also filled. Uh, but I'm just going to pull those off. Uh, not a big fan of those. And then here you can actually change the border color of the uh, up and the down candles uh, if you wanted to. Well, let's actually take a look at the chart itself, the common stuff, and we're gonna, just going to adjust like the background color and that type of stuff. So I'll pull up the background picker here. Uh, we'll change it to like a dark gray. We'll change the grid line to a slightly lighter gray. Do the same thing with the volume bars. Make those a slightly lighter gray. And then maybe change the cursor, cursor to something eh, like a white. Uh, make it stand out good. So you can see here, there's a preview of what the actual chart's going to look like. Uh, if I click apply, you can see it pops up in the background here. And that, there's the chart that I just uh, configured and, and managed. 
Um, now, depending on what you want to trade, whether it's going to be equities or options or futures or what have you, uh, those are all going to be handled through here. So for an equities, you can basically go through and show what you want on your equities chart. Same thing for options, futures. I'm not going to walk you through those, but if that's something you're interested in, you can by all means jump in there and, and change those settings. Um, so basically, I referenced these uh, buttons up here in the top. So let's just take a quick look at what those are, uh, walk you through them real quick. Um, we already took a look at this gear settings icon. This D here is going to be for your quick time frames. So if I wanted to change it to like a five minute chart or whatever I had configured, I just go ahead and click on that and adjust it to a five minute. Uh, let's just jump back to the, to the daily chart here. The styles and drawings, uh, the next two here, and the studies and patterns as well, actually, I guess, um, we're going to jump into to later videos, but I'll let you quickly add or edit those type of things as well. Um, up here in the top right, you can see this little box right there. That's actually going to let you change the amount of charts you have on the screen. So if you go ahead and click this and say, let's just go four. Um, there you go. Now, basically, it would have four charts on our screen. We could add a couple more different charts or different time frames, whatever you wanted to do down here. Uh, let's just switch that back to one. Um, and along the right hand side here, that's going to be that price access that we talked about. Uh, it's set to automatic by default here. So right here, auto. Um, but we can also scale that on our own too. So if you just click it and drag it, um, that'll actually let you scale and kind of view more or less of the price axis. Uh, just jump that back into audio, auto here. Uh, across the bottom, we have the time frame. A um, couple different ways to zoom in, zoom out. You can just use the big old plus button right here, zoom in as far as you want, zoom out back to your original time frame, or you can also just click and drag and highlight, and that'll pull you right into an area um, that you highlighted and zoom right in for you. So uh, we'll just pull that back out there too. Uh, then one last thing, uh, if you want to save this style of the chart, you can go right up here to where it says style. Uh, we'll just click on that and then go down here to save style. And then we'll just name this something demo style will work for now and click OK. Then if we were to revert our chart back to default or to change something and say, oh, hey, we don't really like that. Let's go back to the style we had before. We go down here, click load style and say demo style. And there you go. It just pulls that chart right back up to the way it was. So uh, check back soon. I will have some more videos on how to add annotations and how to do some drawings and add some indicators and stuff. So check back. Uh, as always, check us out at claytrader.com. Thanks.